From a population which spoke a range of different dialects and languages after independence in 1965, to the choice of English as a working language for the nation. Mr. Lee says that decision has paid off both economically and socially for the country. Thus a united, multi-ethnic, multilingual people has ensured Singapore's survival through the use of the English language. Had we not chosen it, we would have been left far behind. But the challenge is to decide whether to adopt British English or American English in future. I think the increasing dominance of the American media means that increasingly our people, teachers, students and people generally will be hearing the American version, whether it's potatoes or tomatoes. <laughs> I believe we will be exposed more and more to American English, so it might be as well to accept that as the inevitable final position and to teach our students to recognize and maybe even to speak American English. Mr. Lee says one way to ensure a high competency of English in Singapore is to expose a child to good English from the time he enters kindergarten. Another way is to make sure that he has access to good books and also encourage a culture of reading. Mr. Lee says the task of developing a high level of English language competency in students is the responsibility of every teacher who teaches subjects in English. He says this is because as educators, they are the standard bearers.